you brought up something that made me think about the CBS and SEC situation from back in the day, but I'll kind of tie it in with this. I'm interested in the ACC's situation currently. Now, Commissioner Jim Phillips talked about the uh, the issue with ESPN helping the ACC, like it, wanting to help them continue to be strong going forward, finding right. a way to maybe increase their media rights revenue going forward. Now, they just signed with a new company, and I forget the name, um, but they're Fish trying bait. to... Uh, what is it? Fishbait, I Fish think. Fishbait. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, now, we saw like discontent from the SEC when CBS refused to renegotiate the long-term deal that they had when the SEC expanded with Texas A&M and Missouri back right. in like the early 2010s. What are your thoughts on CBS not being willing to work, I guess, in good faith? I, I think that's what Sankey and Mike Slive called it back in the day. Um, and what incentive would ESPN have to renegotiate this kind of sweetheart deal that they've got with the ACC right now? Yeah, well, to the first question is CBS, I think um, – you know, CBS probably realized what a great deal they had and they didn't want to do anything to, to upset it uh, at that point. You know, different networks take different approaches uh, as far as extensions. We were always pretty willing to go ahead and open a negotiation earlier, um, but we wanted something out of it. You know, the conference wants something, we wanted something too. So, you know, just to open it and say, okay, I'm going to pay you a hundred million more a year, but I'm not going to extend the deal. That wouldn't have worked. Uh, for us, we would have said, okay, we need to come up with some extra value. If you want more money now, I need something down the road that's going to ensure that I'm getting my full value. So whether that's additional rights, whether it's additional years, whether it's a smaller annual, in <clears throat> excuse me, increase year to year, there's a variety of things you can do to kind of tweak the deals so that everybody's happy. I'm not sure exactly why CBS didn't do that. I, I think now they're probably kicking themselves because they probably could have continued with that SEC 330 Eastern window and <clears throat> for a lot less, you know, or, or at least I think $50 million less is what I'm hearing than, than what they ultimately are now paying the uh, Big Ten for a lesser pick. You know, they're probably going to alternate the second and third pick every week with NBC would be my guess. So, you know, it's... They, they, they rolled the dice and it didn't quite work out. For, for the ACC and ESPN, that's the situation that's tough. I mean, the deal runs through 2036. There is, uh, you know, they've already got a network. Is there a way they could monetize that network with some sort of combination of the Pac-12 networks and get some lift for the Pac-12 network, which is poorly distributed at this point? And if that would create enough money that could, you know, satisfy all three partners, that being the Pac-12, the ACC, and ESPN, that's that's one way. Is there a some sort of streaming element that, that the ACC could create with ESPN above and beyond what they already have through the ACC network and ESPN Plus? That's possible. I think they're going to have to do something because they're going to fall behind here real quick. And, you know, the big, the SEC is going to come up again and the big 10 will probably come up again before the ACC ever expires. Uh, unfortunately they have a pretty rock solid grant of rights. And, but those, you know, if you get enough schools upset, they'll band together and they'll figure out a way to challenge that grant of rights. And it, it, they'll be suing, not the ESPN, they'd be suing the conference because the grant of rights is between the conference and the school. And that was, uh, you know, I understand why John Swafford did that. You know, it was trying to hold everybody together in an era of, you know, shuffling chairs. And it's unfortunately, you know, it may come back to haunt them, but they did get their network. And they've got a strong, you know, a long-term grant of rights. So everybody's kind of tied. But the flip side is they're going to start falling behind. And the schools like Clemson, Florida State, Miami, you know, they're not going to like that at all. Oh, no. Um, the, no. And the ESPN, basketball I think schools. It, it would serve ESPN well to actually keep those brands strong. Um, absolutely. But if you get into something like unequal revenue sharing, et cetera, uh, that's a slippery slope, right? It is. And, and, and everyone's been down that slope before. Um, it used to be that way in the Pac-12, the Big 12. And, you know, it was everybody was always calling us up politicking to get an appearance so they'd get an extra check. And, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. It was a lot better when it went to, you know, complete equal revenue sharing. Uh, I, can, I can see how potentially in the Pac-12, 
you know, schools like Oregon and Washington might say, okay, well, now we're the big dogs and we want, you know, if we're going to be the one chosen the most and, and just, you know, perform the best, we want a bigger chunk of the pie. And, you know, is that, is an Oregon state or a Washington state or Arizona going to agree to that? Well, if they, it's, they're probably going to end up with more money than if Oregon and Washington leave and they all end up in the Mountain West Conference. So, you know, it's something they'll probably take a, a good hard look at, but it's, it's one of those things that it's, it's hard to, um, it's, it, it's really hard to maintain some level of collegiality when you've got, <laughs> you've got haves and have nots within, within your own conference. No, that definitely does make sense. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.